So now I'm going to talk about voltmeters, or in practice, a multimeter set to measure voltage uh, setting. Now, voltmeters measure volts, potential difference, duh. Potential difference is always between two places. So a voltmeter must always be connected to two, two places that tells you the difference in voltage from one side to the other. It doesn't tell you the voltage either, all it ever tells you is the difference. Now, you don't generally break a circuit to put a voltmeter in. Let's say you had a resistor and you want to measure the voltage. You don't take up the resistor or the wire and put a voltmeter in. What you'd always do is you'd connect the voltmeter, which is drawn as a circle with a V in it, on both sides. So what it's measuring is a difference in potential voltage between this side of the resistor and that side of the resistor. You definitely do not put it here, then it wouldn't measure anything. An ideal voltmeter should measure the voltage without changing anything in the circuit. So it shouldn't change the current, shouldn't change the voltage, everything else should be the same. The same with all measuring apparatus. You want to be able to measure something without changing what you're measuring. Are they perfect? Well, again, not quite. Usually, when you connect it, a very small amount of current will bypass the resistor and go through the voltmeter instead. A good voltmeter has essentially a very large resistance, so that little current leaking through it will be very small, but it's not zero. So if you do put a voltmeter in across something, it will change what you're measuring. It can reduce the current and then slightly reduce the voltage. It's unfortunate, but nearly all measuring apparatus changes what it looks at to some extent, and voltmeters are the same. But again, most practical voltmeters have very large internal resistance, and so the effect on what they're measuring is pretty small.